Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. In today's video, we are diving into the DSCP server service provided by D-Link routers. Imagine that you have uh, checked into a hotel, airport or any public places and you've been given a Wi-Fi username and password along with IP details. Think about how cumbersome it would be to manually add an IP address to your wired or wireless devices in such situation. Plus, if someone mistakenly assign an IP address that duplicates the existing one, it could lead to be IP conflict in the network. And network administrator know once you have an IP conflict, how painful it is. So this is where the DSCP service comes into the play. So let's discuss DSCP quickly. For those who are familiar with DSCP server, that's great. For those who want to understand in simple term, let's break it down. So the DSCP server acts as a database for all the IP address allocated in the network. It dynamically provides the IP address to both your wired and wireless devices. It provides five major components, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, preferred DNS and alternate DNS and many other optional settings. So let's get into the video and configure the DSCP with different IP pools and explore the other options. Okay, so I am on my desktop now and now let's open our router. So this router is directly connected to my system here with Ethernet cable. And I'm trying to log into this uh, router via default IP address and they have to put the username and password. Okay, so I have logged into the router now and once I log into the router, we have to go to the settings. And then we have click in the networks. So you can see here, this is the default IP address and default subnet mask of this router. And if you have a planning to change the IP address, so you can see here, this if this is the 192.60.0.1 range uh, IP address allocated on your router, and uh, if you want to assign the different range dynamic range on your clients, you have to change the octet here. here. So this is the C class IP address. So what we have to do is if you want, let's say, assume that you want to change the IP address range to 100. So what you have to do is you have to type this 100 here on the middle, this third octet. And the similar way you have to come to this uh, DSCP option and you have to type this 100 here and then you have to type the second and also 100 here. So this is like, this is the start IP and this is the end IP. It means the router will assign the, start assigning the IP address from 100 and it will end up to 200 and you can see above that you can see here you have an option for uh, DSCP server and DSCP relay and disable so uh, relay is uh, not a subject for today and maybe we'll cover in a different video but as of now this is the option DSCP server we are covering today and you can see here this is the host name of the router if you want to change it to a router you can see like, this is the main router because this is connected to your uh, service provider so you can write like main uh, main router dot local local you cannot change that because uh, local is the preferred one or the ICA boots are the default on uh, this dealing router now you have a, a DSCP uh, options here so in DSCP option this is the beautiful things here so if you have a domain server let, uh, if you have a, if you have an active directory environment and if you want to send your uh, domain server information to all your clients and if you do not have a DSCP server inbuilt, I mean, on the, on your Windows machine. So you can utilize this uh, D-Link router to um, act as your DSCP server. So what you can do is uh, you can add your, let's say your my DSCP server is 192.168.100.110. Um, Right, so I can send this detail uh, to the all the clients. So clients know once the clients receive the IP from the ESCP, it knows that where is my domain server is. And also once you add that, you can save it, or you can give the comma, and you can add the another IP address. So may, maybe the primary and the additional domain controller. So you can see add it here and 111. So this is how you can add your more more of your IP address. Then the second option could be the best option which I uh, think about is domain name. Yeah. So domain name will, will so along with the IP address you can send the domain name information also in the client. So uh, maybe the like in my lab dot local. Sorry. Your company name. It could be uh, my lab dot com. Anything which you can send. That's not a problem. Sorry for the typo mistake. So you can send the mylab.com and you can apply it. 
so once once your client receive this uh, information it will receive this uh, domain name and along with the domain server information there are multi more options available on on, on this one you can see uh, nis server ntp center vendor specific um lots of things are uh, uh, there in this uh, option you can utilize this one this is a beauty i think this is the beautiful and a powerful router uh, i've seen that and now in the in the budget so now you have a uh, let's say if you want to uh, uh, add some few if you want to let's say this ip renews every time it, uh, in 440 minutes and if you want to uh, statically assign the ip address a static assign means uh, you have to bind that mic address, mac address with the ip address so let's say some of the clients i want to give i want let's say i have uh, some uh, laptops which whenever it comes to the office or whenever it comes to the network it should only get uh, 192.168, let's say assign 192.168, 100, .10. And you have to type the MAC address of that. Uh, and you can see this, uh, this is that, uh, I said the Adam, that uh, that PC belongs to Adam. So you have to add his MAC address. You have to get the MAC address in, and you have to add into the dotted format. This is how it should be the dotted form. You have to get it, get MAC from your, you have to do get MAC on your, or IP config slash all on the client machine and get this MAC address and add it here. And then you have to apply it here. Uh, actually, I do not have IP address, so it's not showing here. So you can see here, let me add it. And if you have this clients, if we have a more clients here, uh, it will show you the clients here. You will show the list of the clients here. You can add it from here. You don't need to go and manually add that so. Uh, add those one and once you have that again so i can show you to you so as of now ip address of my uh, machine is again let me show go to the command prompt and uh, let me show you the ip config let me type the ip config slash all enter and you have to go to the ethernet adapter this is that's what i said you can see the adapter and you can see this is the the ip address assigned to this machine is 106 and you can see this uh, dscp server and this is the dns server now let's apply this configuration okay it's going to reboot this device you have to wait while it's rebooting okay you can see there the reboot is completed and now this automatic this web interface has automatically changed to 100.1 and once you go back to command prompt and type ip config slash all and you have to go up uh, to the ethernet and you can see this is the ethernet adapter and now you can see the ip address now the ip address is 100.106 right and then this is the default gateway dscp server dns right so this is the domain name services we have given so this is has taken this DNS as uh, 110 and 111 and uh, yeah this is how you can uh, configure your DCP on uh, D-Link DIR6115 route so thank you very much for watching my video if you have any feedback questions query related to video please put me in the comment box